Okay, so this is going to be my Sunday debrief and I'm also going to do my Monday makeup basket. This is the second time I'm doing this video because the first time all my puppy did was bark. So now he is secure in the basement. So I will not have to worry about that. Um, doesn't mean I don't love my puppy. Just means that I need a little peace and quiet um, to do this video. So the past week, um, one of the items I picked to use was the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream. This one's in light medium. I really do like this. I like the formula. I like the texture. I like the consistency. I like the coverage. However, it's a tad too orange for my skin, which really confused me because most light medium shades are just about perfect for me, and this one was not. Um, so therefore, I will probably end up using this and putting this back in a future rotation, but I am going to switch to something else this coming week. For my concealer, I use the Dior Skin, I think it's Nudes, no, Dior Skin Nude, yes, sorry. Dior Skin Nude in Ivory, no complaints, none. For foundation, Juice Beauty Perfecting Foundation, this is organic, an organic product. I like this, um, again, it works. Um, I don't consider it the ultimate foundation. However, um, just like the BB cream, I will be putting this in a, in a future rotation, and this one will be sooner. It won't be this coming week, but it'll be the week after, only because I want to use this up. It wasn't inexpensive. It wasn't like Chanel price, but it's still pricey, so I want to use this up. For my eyes, I use the, everybody's favorite, the Naked 2 palette. Uh, no complaints about this at all. I really enjoyed using this. This is the first time I really just got into this. When I got it, I kind of played around with some of the colors, but I'm sure you can see that I have um, brush marks in a lot of the the colors now, which is good because um, that always worries me because my first one, the, the original Naked, I used it, but you know it's at work now, so I do actually keep it at work and use it because believe it or not, Sometimes I get asked to do makeup or fix something or, you know, somebody will kind of be like, mm, you know, so um, these come in handy. I really enjoy these. I did get the Naked Basics palette. That will be in a future rotation as well, although not this coming weeks. Surprise! So, uh, for bronzer, I use the Dior uh, Nude Bronzer. And again, no complaints. I showed this to somebody yesterday and she said, oh, there's so much shimmer in it. Um, I don't know, there's just not, there's not too much shimmer in it for me. I really enjoy it and um, it works for me. So I don't apply my bronze are real heavy in the winter. It, it's real light and I need it because you can see me. I have no makeup on, which is probably why I look so tired, but look how pale I am. So I need that little dose of color and a little shimmer for me never hurts, never. Um, mascara, the Femme Couture Lightening Lash. This is a lengthening mascara. So if you're looking for volume, this is not for you. Um, I like this mascara. Again, it's not the end-all be-all of mascaras. It lengthens. It doesn't lengthen as much as some of my other lengthening mascaras. Getting it off is really hard. This is not marketed as a waterproof mascara, but it does stay on. Um, but I just, and I don't, like the fiber mascaras because I'm pulling, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm constantly using the eye makeup remover and just trying to get those fibers off. And it just takes an extraordinary amount of time to get this off. Um, so if you need something with staying power, yes, um, but no, no volume here, just all length, none. For blush, I use my Dior Strawberry Sorbet. No complaints. Love this blush. This will this will come up again and again and again. Lipstick I used Dior Nude in number six eight three. I can't pronounce that word. E Q E S Q U I S S E. So if somebody wants to do that phonetically for in in the comment section below for me, I'd appreciate that. Somebody did that for me in the past for La Oxine. So or however you say it, um, and I really do appreciate that. So this this stayed in my purse the whole week. That's how good it, good it was. And again, another purse item that I was able to pull out, 183 Pink Resistance. These are the L'Oreal uh, stains. 
Love this. So, okay, so that was it for the week that just passed. And now for this week, um, let me show you what I'm gonna be using. So I just got this recently. This is the Carol Baker Perfect 10 BB Cream. White is a tough uh, package. Yeah, and you know what? I'll tell you. I've tr I have tried this. This has sunscreen um, SPF 30 in it. This to me reminds me of what I'd consider to be a traditional or a more Asian BB balm as far as formula. It's got that um, same texture and I really like that. I love that. Um, it's harder for me to get the Asian BB creams now because I don't like to wait for them and order them. And when I go to Chinatown or Pacific Mall, um, a lot of times you're paying a very high price and Pacific Mall, who knows what you're getting, right? Like, you don't even know what you're getting. It might not be real. So, um, excited about this. I did swatch this and try it and put it on. I really do like it. Foundation. This should be really interesting. Um, I'm actually going to try to get through this Chanel Perfection Lumiere uh, Long Wear Flawless Fluid Makeup. Here it is. Um, I got this. And again, I think this is a shade issue. I have number... 10 in beige. Ugh, I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. Um, yeah. And long wear makeup last year when I, when I, not even last year. I don't even know when I got this. I didn't get it last year. I hope I didn't get it last year. When I got this, um, I tried it and about a week later I was like, this is not for me. So I'm hoping that it will be for me for this next week anyway. Now, that being said, the only way I could get this to work for me prior was by pairing it with the LeBlanc de Chanel a Sheer Illuminating Base, which I still have some left, not too much. So I may try this too with it, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I kind of want to try it and see if it plays nicely with the BB cream. Who knows, right? Actually, a uh, concealer, I'm using Cover FX uh, Camouflage Concealer in light medium. Give that a try. And also um, Essence Isle of Stage Eyeshadow Base. So that should be interesting in lieu of my um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. For eyes, I'm going to try, and I've used it before, so I shouldn't have a problem, the Victoria's Secret Nakeds uh, Palette. So this should be interesting. I'm really into palettes lately. I'm really into using palettes and having a lot of choices, but I'm already thinking up some looks that I can do with this. Um, very versatile. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. And this actually comes with a black eyeliner, which I most likely will not use. For blush, I'm using MAC uh, Daft Pink. I love this blush. It's a mineralized uh, product. Really like this blush. It's got the highlight and the shimmer already in it so I don't need um, the extra highlight on top that's always a big plus uh, for me really like that and then for oh mascara my sample of Le Volume uh, de Chanel mascara this is good um, I just I probably won't buy a full size of this because I don't want to pay for it Yes, I don't want to pay Chanel prices. I will pay Chanel prices, but I'd prefer not to. For bronzer, I'm using the, the uh, Physician's Formula. Yeah, gas, but because I really don't like most of their products. <laughs> PH Mac Matchmaker uh, Powdered Bronzer in Light Bronzer. So this is the one that's supposed to shade adjust to your skin tone. This, this is shimmery, so um, I'm going to see how this is going to go. And it's actually one color. And when I use bronzers, I like the ones that have lots of different colors in them. So we'll see. For lipstick, I am going to use uh, a MAC Amplified in Craving, which is an oldie but goodie for me. It's pretty standard as far as color goes, but... You know, I want to use these up, and, and this actually is one of my favorites, this one, and then there's another one that I have that I, I like. I don't know, similar to this. Ah, I don't remember what it's called. I'll, maybe I'll put that in my next rotation. For lip gloss, um, the other thing that I really love, again, Asian, Asian products. My Laneige Snow Crystal Pure Lip Gloss in Cherry Pink. Beautiful. 
can't wait to use this. This I get from one of my friends who lives in Korea and uh, this person happens to know that I like makeup and will randomly ask me, oh, hey, do you want any makeup? Of course I want the makeup. And then also um, from Korea, Clio Art Lip Glass. This is just a clear, kind of sparkly lip gloss, but this was a limited edition packaging, and that's very common in Asia to have these very artsy um, packages. But it's just a, a white, like a clear with silver shimmer. Really looking forward to using that too. Okay, so that's what I'm using. Um, as you can see, I'm quite tired. I was away this weekend, and I had a great time. But um, now it's time to get back to reality and uh, get some shut-eye, probably, and uh, go pet my puppy. <laughs> so I hope you had a great weekend. I'd love to hear about the products that you're using or what you thought about the products that I used last week and what you think about the products I'm using this week. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll do the same. Thanks for watching. Bye.